the reportage we've seen in the past two weeks has been from Israel. India Today's Gaurav Sawant has become the first Indian journalist to get into Palestine in the West Bank. Here is his exclusive dispatch from the West Bank where he tries to capture the impact the Hamas's attack on Israel is having on the lives of Palestinians living in the West Bank. The Israel-occupied Palestinian territory reeling under the impact of the Israel-Hamas war. A total of 850 Palestinians have reportedly been detained in the West Bank since Hamas's October 7th terrorist strike on southern Israel. A Hamas spokesperson, Hassan Youssef, among 60 other members of the Palestinian terrorist groups are said to have been detained by Israeli security forces in overnight raids in the territory. India Today, the first Indian network with boots on the ground in the West Bank during this ongoing conflict. India Today is reporting from ground zero at the West Bank and it's Friday. After the Friday prayers, uh, there, is, there is some trouble which is expected in this part uh, of the territory. In fact, uh, the Israeli Defense Forces, they've been very aggressive. The Israeli Defense Forces uh, have arrested more than 70 suspected Hamas fighters in this area. Uh, th and this has happened just in the past 24 hours. Uh, the Israeli forces swooped in, made those arrests and uh, took those suspects away. Siren! 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 India today's comprehensive Siren. coverage from all sides of the war zone from along the border with the Gaza Strip. A very major incident, a very major... From inside the devastated Gaza territory. This is Al Mushab area of the southern Lebanon. From along the tense border with Lebanon. India today is reporting from ground zero and now in the Israeli-controlled Palestinian territory of the West Bank. Israeli fighters continue to pound Gaza relentlessly in retaliation for the Hamas terrorist rampage in southern Israel that left at least 1,400 people killed. According to the Gaza Health Ministry under Hamas, close to 3,800 people have been killed in Gaza since then. Nearly 12,500 injured and another 1,300 people gone missing. <laughs> Heavy mobilization of the Israeli military indicates that a ground assault is imminent. Whoever sees Gaza from afar now will see it from the inside. It might take a week, a month, two months until we destroy them. Meanwhile, Israel and Egypt are still negotiating the entry of supplies into the besieged Gaza Strip from the southern Rafah border. Israel has agreed to let Egypt send food, water and medicine into Gaza. Many residents of the Strip reportedly down to one meal a day and are drinking unclean water. With violence now surging in the West Bank, fears mount that this flashpoint Palestinian territory could become a third front in this widening war. With the Gaza Strip and the Lebanon border already engaged in the conflict. With God of Savant in the West Bank, Bureau Report, India Today. Rather than relying on a Western media narrative or even an Arabic media narrative, India Today has its own boots on the ground, our own team of reporters filing these dispatches, which really capture the story from a very Indian perspective, reporting about the world from an Indian lens.